Dear Emma, my boo, my honey, lovey, toots, miss lady, squish, and doll. I just want to start from the beginning. My friends made me a Tinder. I thought it was really stupid and superficial. I wasn't matching with anyone because I kept hitting the X on everyone. And then this picture popped up and it said, I want to raise puppies for a living, but I don't. And I love puppies. So I hit a little heart or something. I'll be honest, I was on Tinder just to pick up chicks. But then your pic popped up and I kind of froze for a minute. I just had this unexplainable feeling. You look so beautiful and perfect. I didn't know what to say because I've always used the same line with everyone, but you were different. I just had that feeling with you. A couple days later, Garrett messaged me some stupid pickup line, and I was in my office on a Friday morning, and he said, hey, for dinner, and I said, heck no, are you crazy? So after spitting much game, which means using my cousin Seth, we got to meet. I knew after that night I would do everything I could in my power to marry you. And surprise, here we are getting married. Y'all, I'm excited for you. I've enjoyed our conversations and, and I'm thrilled about the things that God is doing in each of your lives. Marriage is holy because, you know, it says in Isaiah that we're created for the glory of God. That's why we're created. Marriage doesn't change that. It just means now our marriage is for the glory of God. But what makes marriage really holy is that since God created you, He promised that He would meet your every need. God's going to meet every need that you have. And this is, this is what makes it holy. Because Emma, God promised to meet every need you have and if Garrett will be a faithful husband, God will meet most of those needs through him. And Garrett, God's promised to meet every need you have. And Emma, if you'll be a faithful wife, God will meet most of those needs through you. And it makes marriage holy, how God works and what he does. So I wanna encourage you today. Uh, a lot of people say marriage is 50-50. It's not, it's 100-100. Uh, God calls us to give 100% no matter what we think the other one's given, because there'll be days when you'll feel like the other one isn't given as much as they should, but you just give all that God wants you to give. And you know what? God will do such an amazing work in you and through you, and He'll bring healing for you guys through each other. Um, he'll bring encouragement to you guys through each other, and you just trust Him, follow Him everywhere that He leads you. He created man and woman for each other to be in relationship with Him, and your marriage will go most smoothly when He is the center of your home. And let me tell you, when He's the center of your home, when He's the center of each of your lives, that's when He's the center of your home. I, Garrett, take you, Emma. I, Garrett, take you, Emma. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To honor you. To honor you. To cherish you. To cherish you. And protect you. And protect you. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. And holding only unto you. And holding only unto you. I am a take you, Garrett. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. 
to honor you. To honor you. To cherish you. To cherish you. And protect you. And protect you. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. And holding only unto you. And holding only unto you. Garrett, do you give this ring as a promise that you will place Emma above yourself and commit to demonstrate your love for all your days and keep as most important your relationship with Jesus Christ? I do. And Emma, place that ring on Garrett's finger. And Emma, do you give this ring also as a promise that you will place Garrett above yourself and commit to demonstrate your love for all your days and keep is most important, your relationship with Jesus Christ? I do. I pray that we can always come together for anything and everything, that we can truly be best friends, that we can love each other as God loves us, that we can love and nurture each other better and better every day that we can always put God first. And I pray that we can someday use our journey to help others. And I pray that our love never fades, but only grows stronger. I will hold your hand through the hard times and also the happy times. I will encourage you whether you want me to or not, and I will always listen. Find someone who is home and adventure all at once. I'm ready for that. Let's be each other's home and adventure. And now Emma? Bad. <laughs> she has to be bad. I know. I'm so Can sorry. Can someone take her? Can someone take her pee? Hey, just go pee. Just, just go pee. Just go for just, it. Just, <laughs> Oh, here, thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> She'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> and she's not mine. So it'll be okay. <laughs> Are you ready, Emma? I reckon. <laughs>